Welcome, everyone. This is the Day Trader Genius online daily review for January 14th, 2019. We're here to show you that there are opportunities trading stocks at stock options uh, just about every day. And I'm Scott, and joining us is Coach Rob. So, how do we do today, Coach Rob? Oh, we did pretty well. Strong, strong morning. Uh, we always go to the basket at the end of the day, five minute candles to see where the moves were. You can see the, the lunchtime was kind of nasty Had a little bit of a red trend at the end of the day, but that's rough. Uh, a lot of the volume was in the morning. So let's go early, way, way back there. And we'll check out, well, let's we'll go straight straight to opening bell. Make sure you're shipped into a smaller candle size, like uh, one minute candles to start off the day. And then we don't need to go very far before we start getting some some really good trades. We move forward to 9:38. One more, right up at the top of the list today on on volume was this stock called Five Five Below Outdoor Retail. So here's a pretty good pretty good start to the move. Uh, it had a good run first five minutes. And then five kind of hit some resistance around SA and the benchmark and went way back down. We lost our green signal, the background color here. And then it turned back on in this minute. Plus, we're breaking through those two resistance lines and the gap with some volume. So this is a really good entry conditions. Didn't have a ton of market support, but had a, had a little bit just enough. And we're at a CLV of 99. Uh, that's a pretty good trade to take. So bring over our replay controller and I will buy a call and if we move forward a minute see where we get to all right so there within a minute you're already at seven percent that's it's pretty darn good and we've crossed a 116 price point so not so bad Let's see what else is in front of us we still got green signal the market support has increased to 64 on the minute log and we're still at a high for the day we don't really have any time windows so there's nothing nothing to get us out just yet okay now on this perspective we're still in one minute candles this this fourth third or fourth minute of the trade now we've crossed the previous low we've hit that blue star which is a common uh, exit indicator we still have market support but this is a little bit of a an increase in volume since since we started it's getting back towards that level that's plenty for me to to read and you know 22 percent you're you're standing pretty good on uh, five in this case so let's close out of that and call that a good trade coach's tip on the, on this one would be you look at the previous low and you just have to think in terms of what the other buyers and sellers out there are doing a lot of them on the underlying stock like five like this they're looking for big, big earmarks like previous highs and previous lows, gap, you know, those those major price points. So behavior can change around that point. So if you've got profit and you're you're breaking a, a previous low like this, just just give up the ghost, go with your twenty two percent and be happy. Yeah. It's a good indicator to get out. Yeah. And uh, like I was saying, the the morning was a pretty good, strong one. And if we just move forward a couple minutes, Scott, we got Goldman Sachs was a nice one starting at 945. And those time windows are pretty pretty well known, especially the 945 and 11 o'clock tops and bottoms. So whatever range a stock goes to in nine in the 945, 930 to 945 time frame, those tend to be some pretty good good indicators. Like the trends will either start or stop at those time windows. So keep an eye on that and Right, so here we are, it's 9.45, and Goldman Sachs is is looking pretty good. We're getting a new uh, K-band, still got signal. It just took a breath after a nice four-candle green trend. So let's see what we do if, with the time breakout and a trend starting. That's a pretty good way to go about it, but let's see what we get on that next candle. Okay, now I've got confirmation we've got a green trend starting. So I'm going to get into a call. And just see where it goes. We're already at 1%. And 
Importantly, we're getting towards the high for the day. The CLV close location value is 95. And at this point, we got a little bit of volume genius warning resistance, and we're already in the black. So see where it goes, got a doji. Now, we got that previous high. That's a strong warning for me is like we talked about in the five trade, previous highs and previous lows. Some wacky stuff can happen. That wick ranged up to the previous high and bounced off. So it had the range to get there. However, you could tell it hit a little bit of resistance. So for me, with that plus the volume spike, I wouldn't be staying into this one, Scott. I, I'd be exiting at 10%. But let's, for the, the sake, because we have hindsight on our side, let's see what would happen if you would have stayed in. Okay. If you weren't out when it gave you that wick at the previous high, now with the blue star and even bigger volume spike and a 19% gain, that's when I would say get out. Right. See ya. And that's it. We just had those two for January 14th. Awesome. Thanks, Coach Rob. Any quick tip before we sign off for today? Yeah, it's just that. Keep, keep, your, keep your minutes on, um, your candles on one minute. And keep an eye out for the previous highs and previous lows, those, those gap thresholds. So price, price movement can, can start or stop. It kind of gets sticky around those points. So watch for those to be support and resistance. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 14th, 2019. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.